everybody, what's going on? Jerome here, and I have for you guys an awesome episode of How To Minecraft that I know you're all gonna love. And that is, we get to showcase off this awesome care package that Choco gave us, as well as go and get ourselves some obsidian to get ready for the nether. So we spent the last episode diamond mining, and we came across some really awesome things down there. We got a ton of diamonds, a ton of different resources that we're gonna need, and the point of the diamonds was so that we could get diamond armor, enchant it, and we could eventually go and fight the withers. Well, I guess Choco heard about our struggle and everything like that so he decided he wanted to give out some help on his own so without further ado i have to you drums care package with love from choco and the quiz so here we go. Figure for this episode what I do is showcase off some of the cooler things that Choco did for us here. Showcase what all that does. And then finally, I dug this out a little bit and we're going to build ladders to go down there. Because little known fact, there's actually a cave system right below Marome Island. And I figured if we're ever going to find any lava to get the obsidian so that we can build a nether portal probably gonna be down there so we'll make the nether portal this episode not sure if we'll explore it or not probably save the exploring for a future one but we're gonna get it ready get a nice little area ready for it and uh get ourselves prepared so here we go drums care package with love from choco and the quays thank you choco this is amazing that you did this for me and i really appreciate it look at this awesome gold throne he gave us and everything we might i don't know we might move it somewhere. I, I want to leave it here for now until I know what to do with it. Leave a comment. What should we do with this? Should we just move it somewhere else? Should we keep it there? Should we just take the resources and harvest them? I mean, I don't know if I want to do that, but I probably want to just maybe like remove it like right there or something just you know out of the farm area but i mean it, it, it is really cool i do love it so here we go with love from the quays we have first off a golden apple simple enough six name tags which is great because now we can name steve and uh also name our bunny and our horse we can kind of name all of them so that's really cool we have two saddles so we can finally put a saddle on our good old horse friend so we'll do that afterward as well we have shears baka shaving razor Guess no one notified Choco that Bacchus don't shave. But that's fine, Choco. We'll let it slide because of how nice you were. We'll let it slide just this one time. One time. We have Bacchus Katniss, which is just a nice little arrow for the awesome bow he gave us. He gave us 21 anvils because one isn't enough. I, I don't know what to say about it. <laughs> we got a fish, fish, fish. We have Luck of the Sea 3 and Unbreaking 3. We have 64 torches. He gave us full Launcher Ray, which he nicefully named Baka's Gucci Heels, Baka's Bootyful Panties, Baka's Sexy Bra, and Baka's Face Glitter. I'm not really sure why it's Face Glitter, but, but Face Glitter. So we got that. Next up, we have Betty, of course. And look at those enchants. Oh my god. That is that's insane. It's got a 12.25 attack damage to that Sharpness 5. They have Baka's Comfy Slippers with pretty much everything you could ever want. Uh, we have Baka's Sexy Legs. Baka's manly chest, and we also have Baka's fuzzy bedhead. So, really, we got everything armor-wise that we could ever want. We got four gold ingots, five gold ingots, and six gold ingots. And if you watched the Gambling Silo episode a couple episodes ago, with Lachlan where we played dice, that's the lucky numbers to winning that particular dice game Lachlan has in his house. So that's really cool. That was a nice little, nice little joke in there. I caught your moves there. Speaking of moves, he gave us Baka's Silky Smooth Moves, which actually has a Silk Touch 1 and on Breaking 3. We have the End Stone Breaker, a little reference to Mitch's End Stone parody. And we have Fortune 3 on that bad boy, Unbreaking 3, and Efficiency 5. So that is an insane one. We have Baka's not a Betty weapon. In case, you know, there's, there's a time where Baka's got to whip out the sword sometimes and kill things, you know? Maybe light it on fire with that fire aspect too. Might use it on my cow farm if I ever get that rolling because that way it comes, you know, steak right off the bat. So that's pretty cool. It could be our steak maker. Then we have Baka's Everdeen, which is power five, flame one, unbreaking three, infinity one, which is insane. Baka's Swagger Cane, which is unbreaking three. Baka's Dirty Spoon, which is unbreaking three. Efficiency five and fortune three. And that is everything that is in that chest. So let's try this armor on for size. It fits so well. It's so beautiful. And then we can just put these bad boys down here like so. And then let's put some of these items away. So that was really nice of Choco. We're going to move these inside. I'll probably set up a nice little chest for uh, some of these items. Well, actually, we can... We'll put a lot of them up here. There we go. So we'll just... And, uh, oh, we'll take this out and that out. Because we need those two at the moment. And we need that, too. So, perfect. Now we have that. We can put the saddle on our horse. So we can actually use him for things this episode. Which is, is good. It's very good. Now we can actually ride our horse. You know, it's kind of something that needed to happen at some point. The name tags. Here we go. 
we're gonna have to go to the anvil, put one in there, and Steve. And look at that. All right, Steve, you ready? Steve, he's got a name tag. Oh my God, it's so nice of him. He looks so beautiful. You look adorable, Steve. Then uh, horse, horse, oi. Oi, fish, fish, fish. I don't want to mess up the spelling of this one, but let me see. Just make sure I get this right. Dinner bone. Is that how you, uh... Okay, let's see. Uh, Minecraft upside down mobs. Let me just make sure. Okay, just dinner bone with a capital D at the front. Because apparently the Jeb one had to be done right. So we just do... Dinner bone. There it is. I just want to make sure. Once again... Before I go and do this, um, actually, you know what? No, everyone does dinner, but I'm gonna do grum. There we go. Because apparently grum works too. Let's let's see if this works. And grum, yeah, it works. We got grum the upside down horse. <laughs> oh, that is too funny. Grum the upside down horse. We have Steve the cow and the bunny. Hmm. What do I want to name you, bunny? I don't know. What do we name our bunny friend? Everyone, leave a comment down below. Tell me what to name our bunny friend. And uh, whichever comment I like the most, I'll pick to, to name him. You know? Because I don't know. He's a bunny. He's cute. He's cute and fucking cuddly and stuff. So we should probably, you know, name some cute and cuddly. Uh, let's get some carrots. I run out of food here. And yeah. So that is it, I think, for the fun with Choco's armor for now. And, oh. Well, there's 64. Uh, carrots. That's... Bunny! I... Fine, keep one carrot. Happy? Jesus, my God, he's so needy. As soon as I was talking about naming him, he's like coming all over me now. Look, look at him, so happy. He's so loving, look at him, he's jumping everywhere. All right, perfect, so we got that. Next, we need to build ourselves. We need to get some ladders. Yeah, that's exactly where I wanted to place that. Um, oh, Sticks, perfect, get more ladders from this. There we go. And we'll do that. Probably a couple more times. Perfect. So we have 14 ladders now. That should be... <laughs> that dang bunny's just going everywhere. Oi! Look at that! Some of our gold ingots are done getting farmed. Uh, we don't need that one piece of wall in there. So we'll just put that there. And we're going to have to pick that boy, bad boy up like that. And that furnace we don't really need at the moment. We can, we can just keep it, you know, steady. Go. Put the furnace away. Put that away and that away. Perfect. And oop, let me just put these sticks away. Blah, blah. And we'll start pushing our way down here. Now, one thing we do want to do is get ourselves a trap door as well. Which, surprisingly enough, I actually don't know how to make a trap door in Minecraft because I've just. I, mean, I don't think I've really ever have. Not for a long time, anyway. So let's check out. Check out. Check out. Let's check out some of these. Oh, that's real easy. It's just six wood planks. That's actually very simple. If I had six wood planks, that is. Um, this has got to be a joke. How do I not have six wood planks left? Always running out of wood. Oh, duh. There we go. 63 of them right there. Perfect. So we'll just go like that. Oh, you didn't even give us two of them. It even gave us two of these bad boys. There we go. And boom. So we nailed that one. And now we can just kind of... Go on our way. Too bad you can't put one there. Oh! Right! God dang it. That luckily, didn't do too much damage to us. No way. We don't have enough ladders. We don't have enough ladders. How are we going back up there? Hello? Come help a box, please. All right, we'll just build up for now. Okay. Take two. Get more ladders. Alright, Betty, chop that thingy to bits. There we go. Boy, we should probably replace that part of the ceiling. There we go. Place that, and now we're gonna need to... Oh, we had eight ladders right there the whole time. Okay, well that works. So let's go. Boom, boom. Jesus. These tools are so overpowered by Choco. They just... Jesus, Bet. Betty just chops things real quick. Not just in every way, shape, and form. In the Hunger Games, or even if it's just a regular tool like that. 
All right, so this is the mine shaft that's hidden beneath my house. So uh, it actually doesn't look like much, but it does expand a little bit. All right, I guess I guess that's the wrong direction. Uh, I'll just go this way then. I don't really know where exactly we're going to precisely. Uh, that's all I really explored, but I just kind of figured there's more. I saw this and I was like, all right, perfect. So I saw a ravine. It's like time to make an episode. And uh, apparently I also heard from some people that people may have been here already. So I don't know for sure. I'm definitely a little frightened. There we go. Huh. There's no reason to be. Is this thing like... Is it just me or does that not really take any damage? I just kind of destroyed those guys and the, the... Does it not break? Does unbreaking three mean it never breaks? That's strange. Okay, well, yeah. Well, considering there's a torch down there, I would say our suspicion is correct. That, uh... There is definitely... Why is our armor not taking any damage from, like, fall damage or anything? Does unbreaking three make it so they can never break? Well, these tools do. Maybe unbreaking three makes it so they never break. Huh. I don't know. It's strange. It's something to think about. But, yep, yeah, okay, this place has definitely been looted. So, we know there's definitely no diamonds down here, but I'm sure no one would have gotten up. Oh, lava. That's just a one by one. It's not going to do anything. It's a one block of lava. We need actual obsidian. More. Ugh, it's a one patch of lava again. Just one. Come on. There's got to be lava somewhere. All right. Let's check down here. Check down here. After last episode of mining all sea. Oh, there's obsidian. Perfecto. I was going to say, after last episode of mining for like 45 minutes straight, I'm kind of through with the whole cave life, you know? It's just, I've been turned off of it. It's, it just doesn't appeal to me anymore, the whole cave lifestyle. There we go. All right, hopefully did that do the trick? Water's still flowing from somewhere. Oi, fish, fish, fish. There we go, cut it off there. Did that do it? Yeah, that was the magical one. So we got rid of all that, and now we can get some obsidian going. All right, then we'll be quicker. Efficiency five. Efficiency 5. Well, they're both efficiency 5, so I'm guessing it doesn't really matter. Shouldn't take too long, right? Oi. Oh, gotta watch out. There we go. Let's mine that quick. Dang lava hiding underneath it. I think we need 10 pieces of obsidian, right? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we need... Pro <gasps> no! Was that diamond? Did I just accidentally break a block that showed us some diamond? No way. Oi, oi, oi. Oi, oi, oi. Alright, let's be careful here. Is there any more diamond around it? Let's just surround this all right here. Uh-oh. Let's not do that. Okay, no, come on, come on. We need to collect this diamond. All right, well, here we go. Let's hope for the best here. I'm so scared. Which one of these? Fortune 3 and Stone Breaker. No! No way! And we get lit on fire. Is there no mercy in this world? No, you got to be kidding me. We just lost like three diamond. Oi. I cannot believe that just happened. I, no, that's no. Come on! We found diamond! Really? And you're just gonna do that to me? No, there's gotta be more around here. I am so angry right now, there's gotta be more diamond somewhere. That's just butts. No, that's not okay. I'm calling my shot right now. That is not cool. Nope. Hashtag nope. That's what that is. Hoi, hoi. Well, we lost that one. That's fine. All right, well, we only need three more of these. Guess we're going to have to get over the fact that we lost the diamond there. It's kind of sad, but whatever. Oh, fish, fish, fish. All right, go get some, some obsidian. There we go. I know wood burns up in there. Deal with it. We only need it for one second. Oi! 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 Calm yourself. God, we didn't even get the... We didn't even get, didn't even get the obsidian from that one. You know, fine. Learn my lesson. No, come on, just give me it. Pick it up quick. Pick it up quick. Come on, pick it up quick, quick, quick. Oh, 
play. Here we go. Is there no mercy in this world? Do they not just see that I lost? There we go. So we had that down. And now we can head back up to the good old surface. Hey! Move it, spider. Don't want to deal with you. Oi! The sword finally became damaged, and so did my armor. Okay. So that's something else. I guess it's finally get in there. Now, I don't really remember the way out, so I'm just going to kind of go upward, and uh, I'll probably be enough for me. Here we go. Let's keep going up. Up, up, and away with our brand new obsidian. Dun, da, da, dun, da, 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 da. Alright, how much higher up do we need to go? Should be good. Now we just need to get a little bit of this stuff. And then... No, come on. There we go. Out of the water's grasp. And... Uh. Perfect! So that's all we need to do. So let's see where this takes us out to. Apparently someone else has already been here. So I guess I wasn't the only person to take that route out of here. Where are we? We have to be. Huh. Oh. Okay. So we live there. Oh wow, would you look at that? It's right there. It's not where I expected to come out, but... But okay. Sure. How did we never notice that? It's right there. <laughs> That's too funny. It's actually that close to our spawn. Well, our home, I mean, not our spawn. Oh, I look at Grum. Oh, Grum the horse. Look at him there all upside down and what have you. All right, so we got this all set up. Yeah, let's lock that down so our bunny doesn't die. Our unnamed bunny friend. He's just sitting inside waiting. Hey, can I have a name, boss, please? Please, can I have a name? Okay, you have a carrot. Look at him, he's so happy. It's like, I'll take a carrot. Carrot's better than a name any day. Probably was thinking anyway. Oh! He just... Jesus, calm down, bunny. This guy's crazy, man. He doesn't know what's going on around him. All right, do we have any gravel? And a site. Gravel. Oh, wait, we have flint and steel. Never mind, we don't. I was going to say we have to get some flint, but we have flint and steel. That would be cool to actually use Choco's uh, shovel for that, because that actually, the Fortune 3, gives you a 100% chance of getting flint from it. So that would have been pretty cool, actually. All right. My question is... Mm, where do we want this? Because, you know, monsters can come in and out of this, and it's kind of scary. So I guess what we'll do is we'll put it outside of our house, just in case, you know, any bad boys come out of it. You know, we don't really we don't really want that. Let's... Yeah, we'll, we'll put it, like, right here at the edge of our house, and, uh... Yeah, we'll, we'll leave it right here. We'll leave it right here. You know, just towards the edge, where nothing can hurt us. And everything is safe and happy. There we go. One, two, three. Blech. Let me just go. One, two. And. Blech. And then we go. One, two, three. And we have the Ender Portal. Or the Nether Portal, I should say. And there it is. All of our hard work has come down to this. So let's go in, see what our spawn looks like for it. And eventually we're going to have to tunnel that through to connect it to the railway system. That no way! How did we end up right in another fortress? The heck? How are we right here? I just got an achievement? What did I get an achievement for? Overkill? What's the overkill achievement? I'm curious now. Achievement set into the fire? We're getting a ton of these things. And I'm guessing we're near a blaze spawner or something? Well, perfect. Whoever decided to go to the end, I mean... Yeah, I guess we ever decided to go to the... Why are there cats? What the... What? Okay, now you know I have to go in here. Like, you know I have to. I need to know who this is and why. What are they... Thick? What? How did we get to Vic's house so quickly? Wait, someone gotta explain this to me. So, so in Nether space, 
I thought each block was like eight blocks. How is that possibly Vic's house? This doesn't make any sense. This isn't my house! Boy! What the heck? What? No, no, for real. What is going on? Alright, well, I might go and ask one of the guys what's going on here. Um, I guess we'll teleport out via Vix. Yeah, and we'll go and get those wither skeletons next uh, episode. Well, I am genuinely confused, so I'm going to go out of Vix and head back home that way by foot. But uh, I'm going to call the video quits at this point, and I just want to say thank you all for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. A big thank you to Choco for that awesome care package you gave us. And remember, guys, if you're enjoying this series, please leave a like. Let me know that you're enjoying it, and uh, stay tuned for any future episodes. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't done so already as well. And apart from that, have an awesome day, everybody. Peace out, and I love you. Thank you.